<laughs> hey guys, we're in the greenhouse, the geothermal greenhouse here at Three Canyons Permaculture Farm. There is the legend, Angus, who's going to help us take a look at what we got here. Oh, yes. These are not giant containers of cannabis, but they are giant containers of the insects. Man, look at how many are in here. Dude, I'm stoked. Um, Angus, if you could, I want you to um, start depositing these. Uh, do the whole front bed uh, from kale, even amounts all the way across. And you can leave the sawdust in there. What about up in here? I'm going to do these three beds with my jar. Okay. So we'll have even amounts. So here's the kicker, guys, with these ladybugs. Um, there they are. There's lots of them. I got this is the most I've ever bought. You just shake them off or tap them in. Look at them. Oh my God, it's amazing. They're about to be. Ev They're about to be everywhere on us and around us. And then you just sprinkle them into their home. I'll put a couple up here in the Dutch corn salad. The object is to get them in, some in each bed because they're not really connected. But ladybugs will fly around. All right, go see Dell. And if you notice, if you've been watching, how amazing the greenhouse has exploded over the last few days. Um, the shard, the spinach, everything. Well, I'm just taking you around here. Okay, ladybugs are in. You see them working. So it's a natural way to have a natural pesticide here where we have a bug that eats pests. Not only that, ladybug poop. Think about it. <laughs> so I believe these are French breakfast radishes, which will need to be thin. We have some amazing spinaches coming up here. Viraflé, I believe, is the variety. This arugula dill bed is going to make the most delicious salad ever conceived. You just get dill and arugula. And, and I'm going to grow a vinaigrette plant here soon. <laughs> no such thing. This is the arugula from uh, last year flowering. Um, someone told me that about something about arugula flowers. That they're the most delicious flower on earth. Mmm. Spicy. Pretty spicy arugula. Not that bad. The peas are really exploding and they're now starting to wrap on the first rung. So I'm going to put some peas outside because it's been exceptionally warm. Here we see a nice Gerber daisy that came through from last year. Some lamb's quarter, which is a weed to anyone else, but food here at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Here's two of them. You want to eat these before the leaves get silvery. We've got dandelion coming up in here. This is a woolly mullen, another weed. can be used as an expectorant. You can dry this up and put it in with your cannabis, and it'll prevent coughing. You can even just smoke it straight, like... Tobacco, if you don't have any tobacco. Wow, look at this. Those babies are everywhere. So we got some nice lettuces coming up here. There's a perennial mint. Here we have a row of bok choy. Some more lettuces. The shard bed that we planted four weeks ago is really kicking up its game. We're going to have shard here in a week probably. It'll be a nice size. Well, we're definitely ready to harvest some salad over in this region here. Dutch corn salad. Some nice Mr. Speckles, I think that's called. Oh, and let's look at the plum tree flowering. Let's get some of these babies up on the plum tree. Yeah, that's what we're going to need to do. They'll probably go up there on their own. I wonder if the ladybugs will pollinate. Do you know if ladybugs pollinate 
trees, Angus? I haven't heard that they do, but I don't know. Yeah, any insect is capable of doing it. So that's the ladybug release. Look at those ladies. Thanks for watching.